I am here in the offices of Canvas Court Brands. This is here in Springdale, Arkansas, where their shop is, their warehouse, their manufacturing facility. And up in the offices, there's this room that's kind of like a studio where it's got all kinds of stuff that you can, you know, make things out of. I think this is where some of the staff makes samples or plays with ideas, you know. But I thought it would be fun to just rummage around in here, see what I could find, and then figure out what I can make out of it. You know, it's like digging around in somebody else's craft room and you have to make something just out of what's there and available and you're not really sure what's there and available. <laughs> Let's do that. That'll be fun. Okay, I have just grabbed some random product off the shelves. Some is new stuff, some might be discontinued older stuff. Just stuff I could find off all those shelves that I showed y'all, you know. And some papers. Oh, and I grabbed a few paints. Because, you know, they have paint here. <laughs> so I grabbed a few. <laughs> All right, for the bags, I thought I might use some bags because that made sense. Canvas Corp has paper bags in different sizes and colors. There's white, there's craft, there's black, there's uh, this size, there's tea tiny, there's a little bit bigger. So, you know, you got your choices as far as bags. Um, okay, here's what I did. I grabbed a bunch of Canvas Corp and Seven Gypsies papers and cardstocks, and I just cut out the awesome images and artwork that was already there. You know, why make this hard? I punched some of them, and others I just picked apart. This one is great. This is a Canvas Corp sheet. Y'all, these retail for 80 cents each. And look at all the pieces of ephemera you can cut off of this. I didn't even finish cutting. So, you know, yeah, you can buy an ephemera pack like this to use, or you can spend a whopping 80 cents on one sheet and get tons of images off of it. So, that's what I did. Just cut out some things I thought I might could use on me bags. And then um, some of them I'm just going to assemble on the bag just plain because that's simple and quick like this. I stamped around the edge with a stamp. I cut out the little thingy, glued it on, and then I put this cute little tiny clothespin on the top. All it needs inside is a little piece of chocolate or one of those little mini packs of Twizzlers like you get at Halloween because <laughs> they're my favorite. <laughs> but you know. Any candy of your choice would be fine. And then there you have quick, simple, extremely economical, personalized treat bags for your trick-or-treaters. So, okay, before I just start layering some of those on, because that's fun and easy, let's paint some bags. Just really quick. I'm going to grab, this is one of these small paper bags in white. And I'm just going to grab some Tattered Angel sprays. And uh, let's start with, this is Glimmer Mist in Mardi Gras. Kind of a purpley. This one is called Emerald Green. This is Baseboard Mist in Jane Tiger Lily. And this next one is a Glimmer Mist in True Blood. Now we have Graphite.
And last is Summer Glow. So, there we have it. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And when the other ones that I've put out in the warehouse to dry actually get dry, I'll bring those in and show you what we have. Okay, now I'm going to grab some of my bags and little parts and pieces that I've cut out and just put them together. This, I believe, is the Seven Gypsies stamp. I just, I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. <laughs> Let's just pretend that it is and hope for the best. Be right across there. Then, oops, add this like that. Make sure you leave a blob of glue or a big inky fingerprint on it because, you know, that's what I do. Well, now let's put a coordinating thing across the top. Like that. And best witches to you. Where's my hole puncher? There it is. And there it is. Okay, that one, that one needs something else. It's got this piece of a, I believe it was a Seven Gypsies paper. Maybe. It needs this advertisement for this company who does uh, cobweb installations. Oh yes, I think that is what it needs. No, I don't have a little edger tool with me. I'm just using what I got. This is what I got, so I'm running it across the pad. And you know what? That works just fine for me. Yep. Okay, and then this one needs what? I guess black. You know what? I've got some, this is a little bit of that graphite colored glimmer mist. What if I do that? What would happen? Okay, I like that one, or I like that much better, but I'm going to need to let that dry. So I'm going to set these aside to dry a little bit and move on to the next one. Oops, which may be the same situation. <laughs> Definitely need something around the edge. Okay, I don't want brown. I don't, you know what? I pulled this fired brick distress ink. So let's see what happens. That is kind of fun. Okay. I found this piece of, uh, I think it's old Seven Gypsies tape. That needs something behind it, doesn't it? It's too small. Well, will it be with these hanging down? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe a little piece of burlap behind it or something. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that one is cute. I like it a lot. And the sticky on the back of this washi tape stuff kind of holds it closed. <laughs> yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> now the little bags that we painted are dry and ready for embellishments. I made this one. I just took some scraps from some of the papers I tore up yesterday, put some on there, stamped a little here, stamped a little there. 
and I think it turned out really cute. Super simple, just using up scraps, <laughs> basically. So let's do that. Let's just do that again. There's more scraps. Uh, oh, look. That's just perfect size. I love it. Let's pull that off a little bit. Okay. Let's do that. I don't like those torn white edges showing, so I am going to do what? I am going to take some of this. This is just, I don't even know what colors are in here because airplane. I've sprayed two or three. It's, I think, a purplish one and a red one. And just kind of get these edges, and I'm not going to bother being neat about it, because I don't have time for that. Okay. There. White edges are colored. I can glue this on with the glue I have handy. Beacon Fabri-Tac. All right. Now what? Let's see, I've got kind of a long space there. This is one that I cut out off of a thing yesterday and never used. Oh, that's lovely. Maybe I should use that. I want it edged in black. I like it, but it needs something else, something behind it, right, maybe? Uh, I saved all of my paper towels yesterday <laughs> that I painted on. Maybe I need piece of paper towel. This is a little bit of a problem because the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue does not get along well with a paper towel. And I'll show you why. I did this little bag and I just kind of dabbed the glue around and then it dried and it showed through. Not good, right? Yeah, so learn my lesson. I'm not gonna repeat that. Oh, that's nice. So what I'm gonna do is glue this onto the paper towel. like so and then glue it down but I'm just going to put the glue where the paper is not under the paper towel or on the edge of the paper towel where it would show they'll just kind of be loose now I'm going to add a little clothespin and there I've got a cute bag and here and okay this one is not a total loss where'd it go you know I don't like the glue showing through the paper towel easy to fix let's just stick something over it so oh this is still wet well I just cut out another picture off of one of the I think it was the seven gypsies paper brushed some uh, glimmer mist over it to give it a little color because it was a light gray and now I'm just going to glue it over the little part that I don't like. Problem solved! So I hope you have gotten some really good ideas on how to use uh, simple scrapbook papers and these little paper sacks and some wooden clothespins to make adorable easy inexpensive treat bags you can go all you know collagey mixed media or you can keep it simple with just cutting and layering papers look at this cute ticket holder it's a seven gypsies uh, ticket holder it's got these little spring thingies man you can stick a lot of stuff in there you can display it or just store stuff I love this there you have it. 
Hope you got some good ideas. If uh, you try any of these, make stuff out of these papers, be sure that you um, tag me on social media or send me a note and let me know so that I can go see. Okay? Okay, that's all. The end.